Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson of the Smurf Family International Interactive Ministry where we read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day so you do not have to read. Today's read is coming from Mark, the 13th chapter, the 13th verses. We'll be reading a read for today, for Saturday, and for Sunday. 17, 14 minutes in this one reading. And let's read. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God. Mark the 13th chapter, the 13th verses. And it reads, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. But when ye shall see the abomination of the desolation, spoken of by David the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand. Then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein to take anything out of his house. And let him that is in the field not turn back again for to take up his garment. But woe to them that are with child and to them that are give suck in those days. And pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. For in those days shall be affliction such as wars, not from the beginning of the creation, such, such as was, not from the beginning of creation, which God created unto this time, neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. And if any man shall come to you, lo, here is Christ, or lo, he is there, believe him not. For false Christ and false prophets shall rise, and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of the heaven. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When her branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. So ye in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even at the doors. For verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in the heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. So take ye heed, watch, and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore. For ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Least coming, suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Chapter 14. Now after two days was the feast of the Passover, and unleavened bread. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft, and put him to death. But they said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of the people. And being in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment, a spikenard, spikenard, very precious, and she broke the box and she poured it on his head. And there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence 
and had been given to the poor. And they murmured against him. And Jesus said, Let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always. And whensoever ye will, ye may do them good. But me ye have not always. She had done what she could. She has come aforehand to anoint my body to the, bur to the bearing. And verily I say unto you, whithersoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she have done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. And Judas the Sicurit, one of the twelve, went unto the chief priest to betray him unto them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. And he sought how he might conveniently betray him. And the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover, his disciples said unto him, Where wilt thou that we go and prepare that thou mayest eat the Passover? And he sendeth forth two of his disciples and saith unto them, Go ye into the city, and there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him. And wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the good man of the house, The master saith, Where is the guest chamber, where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will shew you a large upper room furnished and prepared. There make ready for us. And his disciples went forth and came into the city, and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And in the evening he commanded, he cometh, in the evening he cometh with the twelve. And as they said and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, One of you which eateth with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful, and to say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve, it is one of the twelve that dippeth with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goeth as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good were it that that man, if he had never been born. That Saturday's read, we're now on the Sunday read, which is uh, Mark, the 14th chapter, 22nd verses. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and break it and gave to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until the day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. And Jesus saith unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. But after that I am risen, I will go before you into Galilee. And Peter said unto him, Although all shall be offended, yet will not I. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, That this day, even in this night, before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he spake the more vehemently, If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee in any wise. Likewise also they all. Likewise, all, likewise also said they all. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he said to, said to the disciples, Sit ye here while I shall pray. And he taketh him, Peter and James and John, and began to be sore amazed and to be very heavy. And saith unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward. A little and he fell on the ground and he prayed that if it were possible the hour might pass from him and he said Abba father all things are possible unto thee take away this cup from me but nevertheless 
not what I will, but what thou wilt. And he cometh, and he findeth them sleeping. And he saith unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldst not thou watch for one hour? Now watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. For the spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away, and he prayed, and he spake the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Neither wist they what to answer him. And he cometh a third time, and he saith unto them, Sleep on now, take your rest. It's enough, for the hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let us go. Lo, he that betrayed me is at hand. And immediately while he yet spake, cometh Judas, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given him a token, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Take him and lead him away safely. And as soon as he was come, he goeth straightway to him and saith, Master, Master. And he kissed him. And they laid their hands on him and took him. And one of them that stood by drew a sword and smote a servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and with staffs to take me? For I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and ye took me not. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. And they all forsook him and fled. And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body. And the young men laid hold on him. And he left the linen cloth, and he fled from them naked. And they led Jesus away to the high priest. And with him were assembled all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes. And Peter followed him afar off even into the palace of the high priest. And he sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. And the chief priests and all the council sought for witness against Jesus to put him to death and found none. For many bear false witness against him, but their witness agreed not together. And there arose certain and bear false witness against him, saying, we heard him say, I destroyed this temple that is made with hands, and within three days I'll build another made without hands. But neither so did their witness against, their witness agree together. And on the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, saying, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witness against thee? But he held his peace and answered nothing. And again the high priest asked him and said unto him, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of glory. Then the high priest rent his clothes and saith, What need we any further witnesses? He have, he have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on his face, and to cover his face, and to buffet him, and to say unto him, Prophesy! And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. And as Peter was beneath in the palace, there cometh one of the maids of the high priest. And when he saw her, and when he saw Peter warming himself, she took up on him and said, she looked up on him and said, And thou also was with Jesus of Nazareth? But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou sayest. And he went out into the porch, and the cock crew. And a maid saw him again, and began to say to him that stood by, This is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after that, they that stood by said to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean. 
and thy speech, speech agreeeth thereto. And he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom ye speak. And the second time the cock crew, and Peter called to Peter called to mind the word that Jesus said unto him, Before the cock crew thrice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And when he thought thereon, Peter wept. Well. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued love and support of the ministry. What I'm asking for is your donation of $7 a month to support the ministry. $7 a month. We have 150 of you looking in right now on the big platform. We have some of you looking uh, on, on the Facebook platform. And if you are so led to be a blessing, here's how. You can go to 7minutereadcom you can go to 7minutereadcom There, there is a safe donation button that you can use to be a blessing or you can send your blessing to any one of these sites. But hold up, wait a minute. You said, I ain't giving this woman none of my money. They all rip off. They always want money. Well, it costs me to do what I'm doing. Yes, it does. It costs me dearly. I'm on Social Security income. That's it and that's all. But... Here's another way, there's another way that you can be a blessing to the woman of God. See there on the bottom of the flyer? You can go to 7minutebling.com. 7minutebling.com. If you go to 7minute bling, you can shop until you drop these beautiful pieces of jewelry that I wear every day. Isn't this beautiful? This is really, really cute. I didn't think I'd like it. I ordered it. I'm like, oh, look at look at yeah, this is kind of nice. Beautiful. Beautiful for five dollars. Whole set five dollars. Seven minute bling com. God bless you until the next reading. We'll be back with the commentary.